All right, what's up DVW fam? So I know you guys liked our Top Tacos in LA series, but you guys can't sleep on OC Tacos. OC is just a couple miles from Los Angeles, and today we're doing a OC Top 5 Taco Crawl, and we got a OC and Santa Ana taco expert here. This is his hood, Fugalor, Mexico. Hey, what's up guys, your boy FGM Shoes, most commonly known by Fugalor, Mexico. We're gonna go from my hood to your hood. Today we're gonna introduce you to the Top 5 Taco Stands, or the top establishments in Orange County. So we got our first spot behind us. Uh, let's go inside and check it out. All right, y'all. So we are at Taqueria Gordito. I guess that means like fat taco, right? So they have big tacos and small tacos. We got the mini tacos. But yeah, so we just got the classic carne asada and adobada taco. All right, put some green salsa on there because I love my green salsas. All right, I'm gonna try the adobada first. Mmm, the tortilla is really thick. I like the salsa, it's very fresh and lemony. The pork meat is nice and grilled, has a nice sweetness to it. Mm. El Gordito Taqueria is like a nice little shack. I feel like it's convenient, you go in and out and get your tacos for a nice lunch or a um, quick takeout dinner. So let's try the carne asada, my favorite taco. The beef. Mmm. Mmm. You to get that charbroil flavor of the beef right away. Ooh, I think this one's my favorite. This one's a hitter. Can't sleep on the salsa. Salsa is what makes some of these tacos. Mm -hmm. Pretty fair price too. These four tacos are around like $10. $10 and some change. So yeah, you get a nice hefty lunch for a great price. Cheers. That's what um, OC Tacos will do for you. All right, y'all. So we're at our next location in Santa Ana. We're at Tacos. Iberia El Guero. So they're known for the beer tacos here. They actually have a brick and mortar location and I've actually been to that but they serve authentic goat beer tacos which is how you're supposed to eat them. We've got the regular traditional classic beer taco here and two queso tacos. We put all the sauce on here. The green, red and the machaca. If you guys don't know about the machaca it's like a kind of like a numbing chili oil spice kind of like the Taiwanese ones. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow, the goat meat is so tender, but the sauce on there drowns the goat meat so you don't get that gamey taste from the goat meat. It's really tender and succulent, but that machaca spice I put on there just brings out the spice in the taco, guys. Yeah, the taco shells are also very thick. Look at these. I could have opted to get the consomme to dip it in, but I kind of like my tacos like this because you can taste a little bit of tortilla, a little bit of the juice in the meat. Ooh, a lot of fresh ingredients, the onions and cilantro. It almost tastes like pho in a taco format. Because if you guys have pho before, they use a lot of onions and cilantro, shredded meat. Mm -hmm. Such a comforting bite. Ooh. So this is their case, Siberia tacos. The tortilla, as you can see, is nice and fried. Dipped in a little bit of that consomme. That sweet birria juice. And put some limon on here. Ooh. Ooh. That was messy. So if you guys have had quesadilla tacos before, it's like a regular beer taco, except it's a little bit more fried. The shell is deep fried. They line it with cheese. This white, beautiful cheese right here. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Oh my God. Ooh, that's such a beautiful bite. The shell is nice and crispy, deep fried. And the goat, nice and stewed but when it's lined with that cheese y'all super savory bite this is delicious mm. and you know it's authentic when you get pieces of goat bones in there you know they stew the bones fresh from the meat Ooh, so rich Ooh, this flames guys so good mm. kind of reminds me of that one time I had birria pizza guys because it's so cheesy Flames. Some queso birria. All right. Just say acknowledge the cheese first, like the cheese. <laughs> Ooh, look at that cheese pool. They ain't playing when it comes to the cheese game. It's nicely coated. I mean, the meat's nicely like hydrated. It's not even drying. I mean, you get the little crisp, hefty taco, like I say. And the mm -hmm. freshness and the cilantro too, and the onions. Perfect. 
also we gotta talk about the prices guys those were like three really hefty tacos they're about ten dollars the case of beer ones were like three dollars each i can eat two of those and i'm full guys so that is definitely a steal guys so great bang for your buck it's worth every dollar plus it's really fresh extremely fresh mm -hmm. the cheese is like they ain't capping when it comes to a cheese game all right y'all so we're at mulita's q right now it's a nice little eatery here in santa ana orange county and we got the tacos gobernador right here which are like grilled shrimp tacos with the little chipotle aioli sauce right here some onions there's some grilled onions right here nice little salad today is tuesday so they had this little taco tuesday deal all of this was ten dollars for three of these bad boys so without further ado i'm gonna try it out y'all i love my green salsa so i'm gonna put some green sauce on this one look at that red sauce in there there's already so much good sauce in here, but whoo, it's nice and hot, y'all. My hand is burning. I gotta put this down for a sec. So you know you're gonna get fresh food if you go here, guys. Oh my god. This is flames. Ivan Fugler in Mexico recommended me this spot. This is like a low-key spot. It's kind of hard to find, but when you find it, you'll be happy because guys, these are fire. The shrimp is nice and cheesy. It's layered with some cheese on there and then the chipotle oily sauce gives it that kick, that sweetness. Ooh, with all of the onions, the herbs in there, tomatoes. This is crazy, y'all. Mmm. Mm. Grilled caramelized shrimp with grilled onions, fresh onions, tomatoes, and cheese. Man, what more can you ask for? So, this spot's called Mulitas Q, so they're known for their Mulitas. There's a bunch of Mulitas in there, but we had a couple tacos before this. If you guys haven't had a Mulita, it's basically like two tortillas. They slam some meat, usually carne asada, pastor, with some cheese. But yeah, guys, their cheese is nice and cheesy here. Flames. All right, guys, so it's so good. I got my shirt dirty right here, but if you guys are digging this shirt, I'm sponsored by Cuts. You'll be helping me out if you use my discount code DVW10 to purchase this nice fitted shirt right here. It's really hot right now and uh, it's nice, cool, and airy. So, really dig this shirt. I'll put the link down below. Cuts DVW10 if you guys want to cop one of these bad boys. But just don't get them dirty like me. Out of all the three places I've been to, I think these are the most unique and probably some of the top, top tacos I've had. This is DVW score 10 out of 10 for sure. Especially for the price. Three of these for $10. Oh my god. That's a steal. Nice and hefty. Mmm. Give you a try. Flames or what? It's really hot and nice and creamy. Look at this. Look at all this cheese. Mm -hmm. Ivan's tearing up. I don't know if that's because it's so hot, spicy, or, or because they're tears of joy. It's a combination of both. It's like it's yummy. It's really succulent. The flavors are intact. The shrimp is nicely cooked. It's not even overcooked or anything. You get, you get, you get like nice little chunks of shrimp. And the garnish with the cabbage, everything infused together works perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Next taco spot, guys. Tacos El Yaqui. It is a marisco spot. They specialize in all things seafood, marisco. So I had to get the obligatory mix right here. Didn't know what to choose, so I got the mix. So it comes with a little bit of everything. Shrimp, haiva, octopus, avocados, some jalapenos, shrimp. Woo! With a little bit of their secret black sauce. This looks crazy. This was $12 right here. And this is a hefty plate. It's like full plate of seafood. So let's try it out. Of this beast right here. I could barely even pick it up. Oh my gosh. It's about to be a movie. It's about to be a crazy bite, y'all. Mm. Not gonna lie, I didn't get anything. I'm just gonna pick up the <laughs> pieces of shrimp. Mm. Oh. Super fresh. Mm. I don't know if you guys have had hoisin sauce before, but that black sauce on it, it's kind of like a mix of like a soy sauce and a hoisin sauce. It's a little bit sweet and salty. It's pretty fire, super fresh. Let me get a piece of the octopus. Ooh, right here. Mm. Nice and fresh, there's a lot of texture to it. Nice and chewy. It doesn't have that fishy taste to it, so you know it's fresh. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep going in on this piece right here. There's so much toppings on it. You can barely see a tostada. It's almost non-existent. This is loaded. You get all the bang for your buck here at Taco Del Yaqui. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick at these little cooked pieces of shrimp right here. Mm. 
Super big, nice and fresh. Fresh avocado toppings. Whew. You definitely get a kick from these little jalapenos that's on top of them and that little red sauce on there. Also, I put some ketchup on there too to add that sweetness. I love eating my tostadas with ketchup. Comment down below what you top your tostadas with. So we got three tacos right here. We got some carnitas right here. It's like fried shredded pork. We got the cabeza, beef head or beef cheeks, and al pastor. Ooh, one thing to know about the spa is that you can see them hand pressing their handmade tortillas, guys. So it's nice and doughy. I'm sure it's flour. Let's try out this pastor. Mm. You can taste the thick doughy tortillas right away. This is probably one of the highest rated, if not the highest rated taco spot in Santa Ana or Orange County. When you look up tacos, this spot shows up. And funny enough, I've actually been here like five years ago with the Bay, randomly just looking for tacos out here and it was packed. But we, we're coming at random time, so this spot gets popping, yo. So let's try these cabeza ones right here. It has green sauce on it. Mm. Yo, look at this. See that? I know it sounds funny, but if we had pho before, it tastes like pho and a taco with all the cilantro, onions. It gives it that fresh, herby taste with a nice stewed beef meat right here. And the cabeza, nice and tender right here. Mm. All right, let's try these carnitas ones right here. Mm. You got nice crisp. Some of them are like more fried than others. Pieces of shredded pork doesn't have that like meaty porky flavor to it it's nice and tender very well cooked carnitas the main attribute of all these tacos that some of the other tacos lacked is the fresh handmade tortillas you could these are the best tortillas out of all of the five places we went to so if you guys want fresh flour doughy tortillas taqueries El Zamorano flames this is my favorite one the cabeza I love cabeza you know I love that head all right, y'all, so Taco Zamorano was the last spot on our Best Tacos in Santa Ana OC tour. I want to thank Fugalor Mexico for showing us around his hood and really giving us some great recommendations. All the spots we went so far have been pretty good. We might have to come back for a part two, but yeah, that spot actually surprised me because sometimes the most popular spots might not be the best. Usually it's the hole in the walls that really surprise me, but for everything, value, the tortillas, the meat, bang for your buck. I think that might be my favorite. I give that one a 10 out of 10 DVW score. Taqueria, Zamorano, and the one with the Gobernador tacos, the shrimp tacos. That one was kind of like a hole in the wall, a little eatery that Fugalor Mexico took us to. Those shrimp tacos were flames. But yeah, guys, all these spots are kind of near each other. So if you guys want to duplicate this tour, it didn't take us too long to go to each place. So OC is definitely underrated and has some great tacos. So you don't have to go all the way to LA for some great tacos. What are your favorites, Ivan? And what are your thoughts on this tour? Okay, well, there's always good eats all over Orange County. And you, they're closer than you least expect it. So you'll find quality. It's inexpensive. You know, the, the amounts of food that we ate was super affordable, especially that three tacos, three uh, shrimp tacos for $10. Mind blowing. Yeah, but that was a Taco and, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, but you don't- Taco really, Tuesday! But just in general, you don't get seafood really uh, really cheap. Like, like the quality, it's, it's really yummy. The quality was fine to its finest, but $10 was priceless. Like worth every buck. Yeah, Ivan summed it up great. I love tacos, you guys can tell. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below if you guys would like us to do a part two or maybe cover some tacos somewhere else. And yeah, subscribe for more DVW food vlogs. Also, check out Fugalor Mexico. He's an expert in all things Santa Ana Mexican food. And he's also a chef. So yeah, check out his channel. I'll link it down below. Down below. Deuces. Deuces.